All right, what's going on, everyone? Today we're going to be opening a few uh, 45 Dungeons & Dragons uh, Forgotten Realms packs on Arena because I need them to start doing my starter deck upgrade guides. I know a lot of you guys are looking forward to those. Maybe you're watching them by the time you see this, potentially. So we're going to be opening some packs. I think we're here, right? Here we go. All right, let's open some packs. Open some packs. Hopefully it's better than Strixhaven. Dancing Sword it's a little bit better. I think it's almost, it's pretty much better than anything we opened in Strixhaven. I think so, potentially. Vorpal Sword. So we get two pieces of equipment. That's also, it's okay. Haven't seen that played quite too much. Get a rare wild card. That's nice. Uh, okay, well, there's a Drizzt or a Drizzt or however it's pronounced. I don't know, but it's actually very good. That's a solid playable card. Tosh's Hideous Laughter. That's a great mill card being played in Modern. Mod, like modern mill is actually good because of that card. Volo. Mm, I haven't seen that too much. It's probably good in like brawl, right? Or commander. Surely, surely it is. Surely, there's a rare wild card that is greatly appreciated. Always love rare wild card. Okay, well, look, Volo. I only need one if I'm gonna play brawl, which I'm not. But if I was gonna play it with anything in, in brawl, I'd only need one. Wizard spellbook. Not really played. Not really played. All right. Well, give me something actually good, please. Sphere of Annihilation. That's uh sort of played. It's it's a decent removal board super thing. Um, Oswald Fiddlebender. That was played a little bit in modern. I've seen modern affinity uh, affinity decks playing that. It's actually kind of good. Cloister Gargoyle. Hobgob. Well, I've seen that a little bit. I've seen people try to build uh, goblins. And standard with that. So it, well, there's some lag again. Um, Werewolf Path Leader is in the one of the best decks in standard 2022. You'll be seeing this post Innistrad, I think. So I don't know if it's still good. Skeleton Swarming or Skeletal Swarming. I want to build a Skeletal Swarming deck. Like really bad. It looks really fun. I've watched other people play it. It looks really cool. Loyal Warhound. This is so much better than Strixhaven. Holy crap. These cards are like actually good wow people said the set was weak but it's actually kind of ranger class that th that card is already getting annoying i already hate it in standard 2022 uh, as i'm recording this standard hasn't rotated yet already annoyed with that fighter class haven't seen it too much um yeah there's good stuff in the who knew who knew who knew there was good stuff in the set and it was criticized for being weak hand of vecna the vecna cards haven't been too too crazy yet We'll see if that changes with time, but uh, so far, kind of so-so. Uh, Wild Mage. I've seen some people try to combo off with that. It's done some, some ridiculous stuff in draft. So, that's cool. there's another Drizzt. Is that how it's pronounced? Drizzt. Drizzt. Um, it's a great card actually. Pretty fantastic. What do we have here? Mythic Wild card. Perfectly happy with that. Why open a random Mythic when I can? Just literally pick whatever mythic I want. Right? Paladin class. I have seen that in life gain decks. Wait, is that? Maybe not. Is that the life gain card? Maybe. I don't know. Um, Volo, will you get out of here? <laughs> that's that's three. Three Volos. I don't need more Volos. Get, get out of here, please. Please. I don't. There's the Book of Vile Darkness. Another uh, Vecna combo piece. So if I'm going to build that, I'm getting a lot of it here. That's pretty cool. Dano the Bugbear. These lands are okay, right? You play like one. One per deck. And it's not bad. Uh, we get Orcus. Prince of Undeath. Cool art. Haven't seen it played that much. Maybe if uh, like Rakdos Sacrifice decks come back again. It'll be decent. Long Rest. Have never seen that cast in a game. Don't even know what it does. But I'm not reading that paragraph in this video. Uh, next card. Come on, give me something good. Xanathar is... Fun in Commander? Is that fair? Uh, not very well liked in Commander, from what I hear. I don't play Commander, but I've heard that people don't like that card. Zorn is cool. I've seen that in Modern. I saw a Modern, like, combo treasure deck with that, and it was really cool, actually. So that's pretty cool. Forsworn Paladin. Um, a one-drop that hasn't seen a lot of play. So there's that. We're gonna get something good here, I'm sure. Treasure Vault. I need to try that in Affinity. 
I need to try that in Affinity for sure. Um, I, I've heard that, or I, I don't know why anyone plays it. No one plays it. I have Vecna. Um, sure. Oh yeah, no one plays it, but I don't know why. It, it should be played more in Affinity, in modern Affinity. I mean. Um, let's see. Oswald Fiddlebender again. Um, good in modern. Don't know if it's played in any decks in standard or historic, but uh, it's a card that's kind of good. We get Nadar. Great. I am. Uh, this is gonna date this video. Oh, we got the treasure thing, the treasure vault. I'm working on the dungeon deck, but you may have seen that like two or three weeks ago by the time you see this. So that's nice. Uh, rare wild card. Great. Fantastic. Love it. Next we have another Orcus. I mean, cool card. Cool looking card. Don't know if it's actually good. Haven't cast it. I don't know. Did I have any? Was it my first one earlier? I don't remember. Oh, we get Tiamat. Um, fun. I, I remember seeing Seth, uh, probably better known as Saffron Olive. Uh, trying those decks when rotation ha or when the set was first released, Wizard Spellbook. Um, it seemed kind of mediocre, but that's a card. We get Monk class. Haven't seen that one. I don't think. Have I seen that one? Uh, I don't think so. Not a lot. Treasure chest. Not something I've seen played at all. Um, I don't think I've seen anyone cast that. Or we've got like six more, five or six more here. Uh, five more after this. Icing Death sounds like... It's such a weird name. I, I know it's a dungeon, Dungeons and Dragons thing, but this sounds like a cake that gives you diabetes. Icing Death. Hive of the Eye Tyrant. Great. I think I really only need like one of those, which I already have, but uh, seems okay. Seems like an okay card. Teleportation Circle. Sure. I haven't really seen that. I don't know why. It seems okay, but uh, no one's playing it. Next, there's that card, the Arch Lich. Um, decent, decent card, if you like dungeon decks. I've tried it a little bit, I don't really like it, but it's alright. Another Drizz, I mean, that's fine. Um, great card. Probably want like three or four of those. So happy to keep opening them. Decent, there's another rare wild card. Circle of Dreams Druid. Um, sure. Is that all my, oh, that's all of them, holy crap. 70 rares, 48 mythics. Going to start working on those uh, those uh, starter decks. Hey, look at that. No, oh, wait, don't look at the background. Uh, don't hang on, hang on. No, no, you see nothing. You see, what? No, it's it's. What do you mean? It's it's totally it's totally post po, po, post uh, Anastrad. I don't. What, what what do you mean? What do you mean? That that screen you saw definitely wasn't from like three months ago. What are you talking about? So, yeah, guys, I, I'm opening these packs. I need to get the cards now to upgrade the starter decks. But I'm probably not going to uh, work on them. Or I am going to work on them. But I'm not going to have time to post this video for a while. Like, uh, uh, I I need to do the Innistrad opening. I want to do that, like, first week. I need to do a what uh, which commander deck should you buy video like I always do. Um... Stuff like that. So this is going to get pushed. Uh, I just, I need the cards now, but I'll post the video whenever. So what do we learn? What, what, what have we, what did we learn here? Uh, what we learned is that Dungeons and Dragons is more powerful than, uh, than Strixhaven. I, I think that's what we learned. Holy crap. Was that those cards were actually good. Those cards were good. We'll, we'll play those cards. Unlike the Strixhaven cards, which I spent, uh, what, $45 on 45 packs and I'm not, not going to play any of them. So <laughs> there, there might have been like three or four cards that are actually good and playable. But for the most part, those Strixhaven cards, ugh, not not great. So thanks for watching, guys. Buy Dungeons & Dragons. Buy Forgotten Realms cards. Buy Anastrad. Buy Kaldheim. Those are actually good packs with, with good stuff in them. Uh, Strixhaven, not, not a fan. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Starter decks. Probably a starter deck upgrade. Those are coming. So go watch that. Cool. Thanks. Awesome.